Hey everybody, it's Becky. Uh, there, when I did my Valentine's Day unit study video, there seemed to be a little bit of interest in what we're going to be doing for Easter and what I've put together for the girls. So I didn't create any of these things, but I did put it together and kind of make a unit out of it. And so if you watch that Valentine's Day unit study video, you would have seen from Bible Story printables, they have these really cute little envelopes you can print out. And we did it with hearts uh, for Valentine's Day, but this one, it just prints out the envelope, which I obviously have not put together yet. And then I've got one for each girl. And then the little eggs, I put one in the envelope for them the night before, the week that we're doing the unit study. And it's just a Bible verse based on the story of Easter. And then if you look at the back of the envelope, it's got all the Bible verses here, so you can reference them again. So I just need to cut these out. I printed them on cardstock, but it's got, you know, cute little graphics. And I printed these on cardstock too, so they could keep them. So there's one of those for each girl. And then again, kind of the same thing, the hundreds chart mystery picture. It is too easy for my oldest daughter, but she still likes doing them. And for my youngest, it's really good for her um, knowing her color words and then her practicing number recognitions. And of course, you know, we always talk about the real story of Easter, but you know, I want to keep it fun too. So we're going to be making these little Easter bunnies stand up. So I printed this on cardstock. They can color it whatever color they want. You put the little cot, you can do a cotton ball or the little, um, it's got a little tail on it. We'll probably do a cotton ball if it will stick. And they can decorate the eggs. We did this last year and they really liked it. So it's decorate your own Easter egg. And we've used sequins and glitter and all different stuff. They can really do however they want, but they liked that. So we're gonna do that again. And I'll put the links for everything down below as usual. The next thing, which with our Valentine's Day unit, the conversation heart science project was really fun. And so we're gonna do the same thing with the peeps. Now I found the bunny peeps at the Dollar Tree. We don't eat them typically. Um, the little bit of candy that my girls do get in their baskets, they don't really get peeps. Um, so we, I just bought them at the Dollar Tree. But you do the same thing where you predict what will happen when you put the peep in vinegar and water and soda. So I think last time we just put, a, put the little hearts in Sprite. And then watch what it does. So you predict what's gonna happen, you record the outcome. And then you can color if you want what it looked like when it was done. And then the last one's a little bit of a different spin. Put your peep in a bag with baking soda and vinegar and then you write and draw what you think will happen and then you end up writing and drawing what you actually did happen. So just keeping it fun, um, not too much stuff to do. And then of course we always read the story, the Easter story in the Bible. And then I also found a video on YouTube that I will link that we're gonna watch. I mean, they know the story, but it's always nice to just go back through it and make sure that we don't get so caught up in Easter baskets and bunnies and all that stuff that we forget about the real reason why we celebrate Easter to begin with. So that's what I put together for our Easter unit. If I do anything else, it might just be another little craft. They get excited whenever there's a holiday coming because we always do stuff like this and they really enjoy it. And I, I really like putting it together for them. So I hope this helps you out. I'll put the links down below. Feel free to use whatever you think is a good idea. Um, and I hope if you all do it, you end up having a good time and you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.